that the caramel coloring used in Pepsi contains worrying levels of, of carcinogen. A carcinogen is a, co a cancer-causing agent. Fashion Brown reports. There's been some concern among consumers since the U.S. watchdog group, the Center for Environmental Health, revealed today that the caramel coloring used in Pepsi still contains a worrying level of a carcinogen. The chemical is formethyl imidazole or formel, which can form during the cooking process and as a result may be found in trace amounts in many foods. According to the Associated Press, in March, Pepsi and Coca-Cola both said they would have adjusted their formulas nationally after California passed the law mandating drinks containing a certain level of carcinogens come with a cancer warning label. In a release today, Pepsi says the caramel coloring suppliers are modifying the manufacturing process to reduce the amount of formel in the caramel. But at the same time, Pepsi is strongly refuting claims that any product it sells anywhere is unsafe. It says the safety of its products is its top priority. It adds that the company abides by the regulatory guidelines wherever it does business. Pepsi says the Food and Drug Administration and other regulatory agencies around the world, including the European Food Safety Authority and Health Canada, consider its caramel coloring safe for use in foods and beverages. But the Center for Environmental Health found via testing that while Coke products no longer test positive for high levels of the chemical, Pepsi products sold outside of California still do. Pepsi says by year-end, it will start to reduce the amount of formel in the caramel to meet the target for the rest of the U.S., which will be completed by February 2014, since it has already reduced levels in California. It says suppliers are also undertaking this effort globally, but did not give a timeline. Trace amounts of formel have not been linked to cancer in humans, but there was a single study done in a lab which showed links to cancer in rodents. The Food and Drug Administration has said that a consumer would have to drink more than 1,000 cans of soda a day to reach the doses administered that have shown links to cancer in rodents. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.